Uh, YouTube, he's got the um, XL 1200's custom jacket it up to um, take the front end out to um, polish it. So we've got some bricks and a jack, take the handle out of the way so you don't trip over it and cause yourself some drama. Uh, first up, we'll slip the wheel out. As you can see, there's quite bad pitting on the uh, fork legs and the axle there. It's a bit hard to see with the camera unless you go right in close. But here you can sort of clearly see it looks worse in real life. Especially bad up the top there. That's how you can see it now. And um, it's mainly basically just the stock clear coat that um, over time it sort of breaks down. As you can see on the left, someone's put some cloud wrap around the fork at some stage to uh, stop the, the seal leaking. Not a good idea because, yeah, as you can see, it ends up all over the bike, the oil from the forks. And that stuff just spreads like wildfire. Also a bit of pitting on the, um, the fork sanctions will be cleaned up a bit of emery so I don't bugger up the seal. So yeah, it's just basically um, using these tools comes in handy, your socket, your bit sets, for your torque and your hex keys. Um, the old metric on the sports the front end, it's just a hot shower Japanese front end. I might, yeah, as you can see the, the torque keys on the um, there's only two bolts per leg to get the legs out once your wheel and axles are hung up the caliper. They were 10 mil bolts and um, hold the caliper on that. I've got one leg out and um, you put your guard and that away so it's not going to get damaged. There's the, um, the pitting as you can see close up there. It's all going to have to come off. So we're just using a bit of let lubricant to keep it clean and um, add, add a bit of um, lubricity so don't wear out the uh, emery cloth. You just got a fine grade there and um, that's how you get the dust caps off, just pry them off with a, a big screwdriver. Dust cap's easy enough to pull off, that goes underneath the dust cover, cover. and then you've got your, um, your spring clip go around clockwise or anti-clockwise and just pull it out at four points and here the, there you have the um, bottom of the fork comes out pretty easily some guys reckon you need a even pack wrench but I've never really had to use one don't forget to um, replace that washer with a new one and as you can see the bushes look a little bit stuffed but there was no slop in a fork so I'm going to reuse those till next time and there's your different grades of uh, memory or wet and dry as we call it over here in Australia starting with um, 80 I think which is the most harsh to get rid of all the pits and, and stuff and then you um, just gradually go finer until you um, get, get less and less um, deep scratches in it and that's the end result after about two hours of polishing time we used two different polishing mops one was more abrasive than the last just because I didn't have the 2000 to finish it up with so I used two different mops and um, different compounds that come for each mop the white ones the finer the dark ones for the coarser one and you can clearly see um, the difference now, the forks are back on the bike, it's all been done running out of daylight because it took me the most part of the day, I did the um, bottom tree as well, as you can see it's a lot shinier um, yeah, the top tree a bit, I did the um, nacelle or whatever you call it, the top cover for the back of the speedo a little bit as well, I didn't take it off the bike, just quickly done it up and there you have it, what a difference the front end makes I'm not going to bother clear coating it because I um, keep my front ends clean after every ride. Give them a quick wipe down and leave them with a coating of stuff to stop them corroding. Thanks for watching.